Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video we will be exploring the impact that Thomas Tuchel has had on Chelsea since he joined on the 26th of January 2021 following Frank Lampard's departure from the club. Uh, firstly we'll be uh, looking at some clips and um, analysing the formation, player positions, team shape that Tuchel has implemented into this side. Uh, then we'll go on to look at the team stats uh, as well as more detailed stats like uh, expected goals and expected goals against uh, and then just look at the results and compare the um, results against the lowest lower lower place teams as well as the top four top six um, so firstly looking at the team shape and formation um, early on in the season when Frank Lampard was in charge Chelsea regularly played a 4-3-3 um, and as soon as Tuchel come in straight away back three or back five or whatever you want to say with you know two central midfielders and then sort of as well as the wing backs two sort of wide forwards as well as the uh, main striker uh, but what you'll notice in the clips uh, that you'll see in a minute is that the the wing backs really provide the width and the um, attacking force down that side and the, the wide forwards sort of come in and play as two wide number 10s uh, and you'll see that in these clips in a minute. Initially when you look at these results you're thinking oh you know the new manager effect you know when a new manager comes in you always see a, a boost in confidence and the players wanting to impress the new manager and that's why you see um, good results. Um, but I mean, for 10 games to not lose a game, to win, how many is there? Six, six out of the 10 games to win them, four draws. I mean, you can't argue that Tuchel has had an impact on results here. And um, conceding just two goals in those 10 games is just extraordinary. Um, but if you just look deeper into the results, Lampard, during the 19 games that he was in charge this season, um, against last season's top six, um, well, obviously, can't play themselves, so the five uh, times they played them, they lost three of them and drew the other two 0-0. They were against Man United and Spurs, whereas Tuchel has um, played Spurs, Liverpool and United so far, beat Spurs and Liverpool, um, keeping clean sheets, and also kept a clean sheet in the 0-0 draw against United. So you can already see that. Um, impact really and you can't you know in the first couple of games maybe against a lesser opponent you can argue that you know the manager uh, the new manager effect where players want to score goals want to impress the manager but you know you, you don't you don't go to Spurs away and beat them 1-0 just because you've got a new manager doesn't matter who, you, who the manager is just because you've got a new manager no it's it's clearly a tactical um, change which has worked um, like I said, two calls kept eight clean sheets in the ten games, uh, conceding just twice. And you know, as you can see, even those game, uh, even when they conceded, it, it was against Sheffield United and Southampton, so not not the big sides. Um, three nil nil draws, however, in ten games. You can, one of the one of the things we look at this is the games. Under Lampard seemed much more exciting. Um, Tuchel actually has yet to score. Well, Tuchel, Tuchel's Chelsea has yet to score um, more than twice in a game in the 10 games, whereas Lampard's Chelsea did it in seven times in the 19 games he's been in charge this season. That just shows you the difference in style of play. Uh, Lampard, Lampard's team wanted to score goals, um, wanted to have an exciting. Um, exciting style of play but obviously that that meant they'd leak goals as you can see 3-3 three, three draw against West Brom 3-3 three, three draw against Southampton so there you can see the difference when you look at the results is Tuchel you might say has a more boring style of play but he gets the results he gets the clean sheets and you know as they say defence wins your titles and he you can see that the effect, the effect is is working on them. They've jumped up. I think it's five places in the in the league table. 
10 games, no lo no losses. You c it's clear to see that um, this isn't just a coincidence in results, especially with the fact, like I said, they played three of last season's top six already and not lost, kept three clean sheets. That is impressive. You, you can't say otherwise. Um, but we will now look at the clips um, regarding the tactical um, shape and you know the play positions and what the for where the forwards are on the pitch, where the midfielders are on the pitch, where the, the wing backs are on the pitch, and how how that is um, helping to call uh, create chances. Well, Chelsea to create chances obviously is not creating them himself, but yeah, we'll look at them clips now. So this clip is from Tuchel's first game in charge against Wolves. As you can see, they were playing um, a 5 or 3 at the back, Callum and Adoy on the right, when the back, Chilwell on the left, and Ziyech and Havertz are playing as sort of wide forwards, but they were playing as inside sort of wide number 10s, I don't know how to describe it, behind uh, Giroud. And as you can see, Ziyech comes out here, Havertz comes in, creates a space for Chilwell, and there we go. An overload on the left hand side, Kovacic. Uh, a little triangle there, three on two. Um, Kovacic there has two options on that left hand side once um play this clip. Side in, Havertz, Chilwell sure puts it over. Here's another one from Newcastle, for Newcastle, sorry, against Newcastle. Um, again, Hudson Uri on the right, Alonso this time in the left wing back off the picture. Werner and Mount sort of playing. Um, as those inside uh, forwards or wide number 10s dragging the defenders in create space for Alonso Werner has the space in the middle puts it wide uh, last one here against Man United again Hudson Adore on the right, Chilwell on the left off the pitch uh, Giroud was up top in mountains he kept playing as those wide number 10s Rudiger uh, switches the play Ziyech, as you can see Ziyech playing as that num uh, wide number 10 bringing Shaw in creating so much space for Hudson Odoi, he just has time to bring it down, have a look, get the cross in. Giroud couldn't get on the end of it. So I know that in none of those clips um, Chelsea managed to score, but you can see how easily that um, they were able to carve chances out through the wide areas. Um, so the, in, the inside forward wide number 10s, whatever you want to call them, um, whoever it was playing in that in that position it varied a lot um, in the first few games under Tuchel um, would sort of drag in the um, opposition fullback um, in towards the centre of the pitch with them and it creates space for the wing backs to have <laughs> to do whatever they like with it as you saw at Calmont and Adoy um, do it, uh, Chilwell do it, uh, Alonso create a chance for Werner um, and it's something you can see um, quite regularly um, in a Chelsea game under Thomas Tuchel um, here I've got the average play positions uh, for the first nine games under Tuchel so it's all of the games by the um, Leeds one in the Premier League um, the orange uh, colours are for when they were playing at home blew away um, and as you can see the wing backs just bombing up. If you look at the first game, um, Chelsea v Wolves, it looks like they're playing a back four. Uh, Aspilicueta, who was actually the um, right side, right side centre back, was always playing in that right full back position. Callum Hudson Odoi, the number 20, was the furthest player forward for Chelsea, and he was playing as a wing back. Uh, and that just goes to show, and obviously Ben Chilwell, it sort of creates like a front five. And, um, the two centre mids usually Kovacic and Jorginho just protecting the back three and that was um, a theme throughout all the first nine or well, all ten games as you can see here really the only different one is against Man United where the wing back sort of took in a bit more Carl and Doi playing right alongside Aspilicueta but the shape is is really the same in, in all of the games uh, the wing backs playing as far forward as you can imagine the striker dropping in as you can see Burnley number 9 Tammy Abraham dropping in um, and the Vigia Rude does it against Sheffield United um, only when Werner was playing in that number 9 position would you see 
a striker um, being that um, right at the front of the forward line but Werner has been played out on that left quite a lot to allow Abraham or Giroud or similar players to drop in and help out the midfield and leave that to the front four whether it's Mount, Ziyech, Havertz and then obviously the wing backs Hudson, Adoy, James, Chilwell, Alonso and that is just why Tuchel's system is working so well in terms of um, creating chances obviously like I said they've not scored that many goals but they do create chances and good ones through the wide areas and it's defensively stable as well like I said the three centre-backs being protected by Jorginho and Kovacic who just keep the game ticking two great passes of the ball to players who can control the tempo of the game very well um, but yeah just looking at those average positions just back up what you saw in the clips the wing backs finding so much space on that um, on either touchline for crosses and then sort of having a front three where the, the wide tens sort of join the striker and you're just getting players into the box so easily and also either if the ball's on the right side you'll see Alonso or Chilwell getting into the box same if it's on the left or right side you'll see Hudson Odoi or James getting into the box and it's just something really interesting that is working for Chelsea so I've just rustled up a few um, stats obviously I've put it per game because as you can see, as you can see uh, this season Lampard's been in charge for 19 compared to 10 for Tuchel um, and straight away I know Lampard has got a bigger sample size so you know there is more more of a chance for um, conceding goals um, having slip ups, having dips in form, stuff like that and um, obviously again the argument of the, the players bouncing back with a new manager confidence and wanting to impress but I, I, w I was more shocked <coughs> sorry I was more shocked than I expected to be when I was looking at these because obviously on the eye like we've all seen the difference that Tuchel has made and we know that he's improved them massively in res results wise as well as performance wise <coughs> sorry but um 2.2 points per game compared to 1.53 is a massive difference massive difference um, and that goals conceded per game as well 0.2 it's just crazy two goals in 10 games compared to Lampard's 1.21 almost one goal per game more on average um, was something that I didn't expect to see um, but something that surprised me even more was the goals scored per game differences the Lampard's Chelsea scored a lot more um, and Tuchel's Tuchel Tuchel's Chelsea scored 11 goals in 10 games which obviously isn't amazing but when you consider the defensive record it is good but I didn't realise how many more goals Lampard's Chelsea scored um, but then you compare the expected goals and expected goals against and how close are those expected goal per game um, numbers there 1.62 for Lampard 1.61 and automatically that just shows how better the finishing was under Lampard um, they scored more than they outscored their expected goals um, whereas two goals and uh, Chelsea aren't scoring as much as they should be really um, Werner's not finishing chances um, so that just goes to show in those clips obviously we saw that they didn't score the chances I said that um, they've not been scoring much but they are creating chances they are creating roughly nearly exactly the same um, amount quality and quantity wise as Lampard's Chelsea just scoring less and finishing less of them and the expected goals against um, roughly the same as the real number for Lampard 1.11 to 1.21 um, but two goals Chelsea conceding less than than expected which goes to show um, their defensive stability there and maybe the fact that goalkeeper Edouard Mendy who has involved, been involved a lot more under Tuchel than Lampard is making a difference over Kepa um, and another thing obviously we know as we've seen that Tuchel 
has been adopted more of a possession based. I did not think that Lampard's Chelsea had that much possession on average, um, but it's still increased on Tuchel. Um, something that was interesting that I found out that um, only once in Tuchel's 10 games have Chelsea had less possession in the opposition, and that was against Liverpool, um, who they won, not who they beat. Um, whereas Lampard's Chelsea has had um, less possession in the opposition quite a few times against lower sides as well. Um, but those are the stats when you come down to it. Um, very interesting looking at the expected goals and against. Um, I did not realise how similar the expected goals per game were between Lampard and Tuchel, but um, that's all for the stats. So overall, I'm really impressed with the impact that Thomas Tuchel has had on Chelsea. Uh, at first, when he was appointed, I was a bit sceptical of him. Um, I feel like he hadn't proven himself enough, and I thought that Chelsea might have you know, jumped the gun a bit too quickly with um, hiring someone. I thought, I just thought Tuchel's done it, well, managed a big club. He, he hadn't necessarily won anything. Um, hadn't won the Champions League or PSG or anything like that. Um, so I was thinking, might be a bit dodgy, and then obviously he did well in his first few games. I was thinking, oh, it's just, you know, new manager, that's what happens, but I saw that he'd implemented a different way that suited these Chelsea players um, in recent years, especially with Antonio Conte, they, they've liked the three at the back um, system and I feel like it brings the best out of the players they've got um, and I'm, I'm really impressed with how he's doing and I, I can't see them slowing down until the end of the season really, I do think they're finishing the top four um, possibly third or even second um, but yeah I'm really impressed with how he's transformed the Chelsea side so quickly and not only giving them confidence but they just all seem happy playing and they all seem like they know what they're doing and the system just like I said suits Chelsea so well with the players they've got um, but that's it on my analysis of uh, Tuchel's impact on Chelsea um, I know it wasn't too in-depth, it was more um, my opinions and then having videos and stats to back it up. Uh, obviously this is my first type of um, video doing this stuff and um, I do want to do it more in the future. I am an aspiring football analyst, it is something that I want to do in, in the future as a career or whatever. Um, so please stick around and um, give the video and the channel some love, uh, it'd be really appreciated. And please just expect some some more of these types of videos in the future, whether it's um, analysing a manager's impact like I have today, whether it's a team style, um, an individual player or certain matches that I'm going to analyse. It's going to be stuff like that. So uh, please like, comment and subscribe. And um, thanks for watching.